What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming. Here we are on the biggest map ever introduced in the Trials of Osiris. The first light, last light, somewhere in the middle light. I don't even know what the hell this map is called. I'm just kidding. It's first light. You guys know what it is. It's a sniping map. Obviously, it's what you got to do. But I'm going to give you guys some tips to help you guys maybe get with your friends, get with your teammates, and make it to the promised land, aka Disneyland, aka the lit house. Get there, man. Get that loot. Get that blind perdition. Hashtag the best pulse in the game. Or maybe it's a clever dragon. Who knows? But I'm making a comparison video for you guys. On that, it'll be detailed as fuck. So make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. Now, as you guys know, this map is humongous. I feel like Bungie was trolling us because Bungie was like, oh, you guys want to complain about no radar and no revives and shotguns? Okay, then boom biggest map in the game this map is so freaking big it doesn't even actually work for 6v6 that's how big it is anyway so let's get right into it as you guys know you can actually use your sparrow if you didn't know that right when you land get on your sparrow and run you guys are like wait snipes but on the screen you're not doing that i know i'm an idiot all right i'm a hypocrite all right i give you guys good advice i don't take it myself <laughs> anyways but honestly guys get the angles on this map the most important thing I've said this to my teammates and I'm gonna say it to you guys. Sorry I'm slurring, it's super late right now. Uh, for some reason, every time I make videos for you guys, it's super late and it's an excuse, but I'm sorry. Forgive me. But make sure you guys do not get caught in the middle of the map. Make sure you are sticking to an object, whether it be a wall or whether it be inside of a cave. Stay on the outskirts of this map. Make sure that you guys do not get. Look, this guy got caught in the middle. Boom, dead. Make sure you guys don't get caught in the middle, okay? It's not a good look. Um, the weapons, ooh, look at that crispy snipe. The weapons I recommend would be a scout rifle. All right, the Distant Star is a really, really good scout rifle. Arguably the best scout rifle in the game. I'm gonna be making a video on that for you guys as well. That's a great weapon to use. The Mita Multi-Tool, always been a great weapon to use. The Clever Dragon is what I'm using on the screen that you see. Great, great weapon to use. You can use the Blind Perdition as well. Pretty much what I'm trying to say is a, sco a scoot rifle. <laughs> wow. A scout rifle or uh, what's it called? Uh, why the fuck is Siri just trying to talk to me? Or um, obviously a pulse rifle. One of those would be great. If you're going to run a sniper rifle, you can also run a really good hand cannon. I know my brother was doing that. He said it worked pretty well for medium to close range encounters. Um, but honestly guys, you got to also keep in mind that some supers like I'm on the warlock class I'm using a nova bomb because if you think about it If you're using an arc warlock somebody's gonna hop on their sparrow and run away If you're using Sunsinger, you could self res which isn't a bad idea But most likely someone's gonna be watching your orb Which is the next thing I want to tell you guys is to make sure if you get an orb down you have that orb in sight and you're watching it. Whether it be with a sniper rifle or whether it be with a shotgun if you're close by, make sure you guys are watching it. The uh, last thing I want to say is, you know, I have always said stay together with your team. I don't feel like this is really a map where you should all stay clumped together. Now, if you want to camp, which a lot of teams we've played against have done that, I want to say they failed. But occasionally you'll run into a good team that's actually running shotguns and they would camp the flag room or they would clamp, uh, camp the bottom mid inside the dome um, and they're successful because we're not patient but honestly if you play patient look as soon as we spawn we go over to the building you see right now that's where this flag spawns on the bottom outside right of this building the flag spawns you want to be in this building and have full control of it all right inside out middle second level top level and just peek out use the whole building to your advantage peek out and get some snipes now you'll see that i'll be guarding this orb keeping an eye out left right keeping different angles obviously they're going to be calling you out so you don't want to always be in the same spot but you want to keep moving around watch those orbs as you get the numbers and you know i want to say supers are very very important in this map but a lot of them can be countered like a blade dancer. I mean, there's not much a blade dancer can do unless you're patient and you wait until the last flag spawn. Now, I just wanted to give you guys some tips. I want to let you guys know that if you're watching this video right when I upload it, we're not live because we're sleeping. We're human beings. We're in Seattle, Washington. So you guys know 
we're Pacific Standard Time. But majority of the day, we actually are streaming our carries. The video you're watching right now is actually my brother and I carrying a viewer, a very loyal viewer, a supporter of the stream. He's a donator. He's a freaking awesome guy. Thanks so much for all the support you do. But as you guys know, you know, this is what we do every weekend. We're doing this. And if you guys didn't know, we're also applying for a sub button um, for a partnership with Twitch. And the way we get that is the more viewers that Twitch sees from YouTube to our stream, the more you know of a chance we have to get that sub button and get partnered with Twitch. And it really does help a lot, guys. So if you guys can just stop by on the stream, drop a follow. Uh, Opening a Twitch account is absolutely free, so you guys can do that. You can drop a follow. Just be a part of the family. We do a lot of stuff. We do Iron Banner with you guys. We do Crucible with you guys. We'll do private matches, Rumble with you guys. A lot of fun activities. We're both on PlayStation 4 and, and Xbox One, as you guys know. So, um, yeah, man, just come join the family. We're a bunch of loving people. We've had some amazing community members be a part of the family. Literally humbles us that you guys uh, appreciate the content we create, appreciate the hard work we put in. Like we put in hours and hours and hours every single weekend to help people get to the lighthouse. We've carried over 3000 people to the lighthouse. And you know, it, a lot of people think that, hey, there's not much I can do. Look, honestly, if you see a video from us and you hit a like button, you're doing a lot. And I appreciate that. You, When we go live on stream and you tune in because you followed and it gives you a notification, we appreciate that. When you see me post something on Twitter and you like it or retweet it or even simply follow us on Twitter, we appreciate that. You guys are doing a lot. You know, it's not necessary that you have to do everything, but whatever you can do, it helps us content creators a lot because we don't do this. Well, I mean, some people do do this full time, but we don't do this full time. You know, this is something that's a hobby for us, but we love helping you guys make this game a little bit more efficient helping you guys um have more fun in this game you know this game is very time consuming and in things like trials of osiris when you fail you know and keep trying it's just hours of your life wasted you could be spending that time working or with your family or you know doing something else exercising i don't know anything right so just a few thoughts of um and i guess pretty much telling you guys on as to why we do this so much love guys much love thank you guys so much for keeping the positivity as you guys know you know the whole nation's been in a little stir uh, as far as uh, this last week goes but i appreciate you guys a lot for spreading the positivity and, and spreading the love so thank you guys so much uh, i'm gonna go ahead and stop talking here i know i've talked a lot and you guys are probably like yeah you're just babbling on now but i appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next video uh, be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel join the family um, and everything you need to know is in the description of this video. So please do check it out um, for all the links on how to connect with us. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.